Fair Share vs. Right to Work Laws, explained by the Citizen Genius Project. A labor union is an organization of workers that protects their rights and interests while dealing with an employer. Various federal and state laws give workers the right to start and join labor unions. Although workers have the right to join a labor union, membership is optional. Federal and state laws prevent a worker from being forced to be a labor union member. Therefore, at any given workplace, there can be some workers who belong to a labor union and some who do not. The reason why there are numerous federal and state level laws is because they apply to different types of workers, notably private sector versus public sector workers. Generally speaking, Federal laws govern private sector workers and federal public sector workers, while state laws set the guidelines for state and local public sector workers. Here's an overview of some of the relevant federal laws and Supreme Court cases. Pause the video to examine each. Federal law allows a labor union to be the exclusive bargaining representative at a workplace as designated by the National Labor Relations Board. This means a labor union will negotiate a contract, referred to as a collective bargaining agreement, with the employer and that agreement will apply to all workers, even the workers who are not members of the union. Since the union, acting as the exclusive bargaining representative, is in charge of negotiating a collective bargaining agreement, and since the union provides contract maintenance services, like managing any grievances against the employer, the union must engage in those activities on behalf of union and non-union members. To cover the cost of union activities, union members pay dues. These dues finance collective bargaining and grievance costs, as well as additional activities such as political advocacy and organizing efforts. Because non-union members at a workplace get the collective bargaining and grievance services from the union, but do not pay union dues. Unions often charge non-members a fair share fee. This fair share fee, also called an agency fee, is authorized by a security agreement that is negotiated as part of a collective bargaining agreement made between a union and employer. In other words, a union and employer agree that non-union members must pay the fair share fee because they are entitled to full and equal union representation even if they choose not to be members. It's important to emphasize that the fair share fee is not the same amount that union members pay in dues. The fair share amount covers only the amount of money union members pay for collective bargaining and grievance services, and this amount is determined by audits of the union's finances. A right to work law is a law that makes it illegal for a union and employer to include a security agreement in a collective bargaining agreement and so non-members cannot be required to pay a fair share fee. As a result, non-members can get collective bargaining and grievance services without having to pay the union for those services. Currently, more than half of U.S. states have right-to-work laws. Supporters of right-to-work laws argue that non-members should not be required to pay a fair share fee if they do not want to. Supporters also argue that non-members should not have to associate with the union by paying a fair share fee. Opponents of right-to-work laws argue that since unions are required to represent non-members when negotiating a collective bargaining agreement and handling a grievance, non-members should pay their fair share or else they become free riders, meaning people who get a benefit without paying. In addition, opponents argue that right-to-work laws take freedom away from unions and employers because they lose the freedom to include a security agreement in a collective bargaining agreement. To summarize, workers have the option of belonging to a labor union. They cannot be forced to. When a labor union is the exclusive bargaining representative at a workplace, it is required to represent dues-paying members as well as non-members who don't pay union dues. Therefore, non-members can be required to pay a fair share fee in some states. However, right-to-work laws make it illegal for a union and employer to require non-members to pay a fair share fee, and so non-members gain the right to get union representation without paying for it.